Om Namah Shiva students. Today you will learn the next part of chapter 6. Weather and climate of your learning age social studies book 5. You will know and learn about ocean currents. So what is this ocean currents? The term current describes the motion of the ocean. The term Current describes the motion of the ocean. Ocean currents are driven by wind, water destiny differences and tides. Clear? Ocean currents describe the movement of water from one location to another location. Winds blowing in the oceans affect the climate of various regions. Ocean currents can warm up or chill down regions depending upon their source. When the warm ocean currents come to the cooler shores, they warm up the area. On the other hand, when cold currents reach the warm areas, they cool the areas. When the warm ocean currents come to the cooler shores. They warm up the areas. And on the other hand, when cold currents reach the warm areas, they cool the areas. Clear? Ocean currents play an important role in controlling the climate and sea life also. The amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity. Warm air can hold more water vapor while cold air can't hold as much. It greatly regulates the precipitation or rainfall in an area and brings a change in the overall climatic conditions. So, the equatorial regions experience the highest rainfall as the air is very humid in these regions. The cooler regions at higher altitudes experience rainfall in the form of snowfall. Okay? Because the amount of water vapor in the air that warm air can hold more water vapor while cold air can't hold as much. Now, I am coming to the next part. You will learn major climatic zones. You can see in the next page that is opened in front of you. You will turn your page and you can see the climatic zones. Earth is divided into seven major climatic regions. Depending upon their latitude, amount of sunlight and precipitation and their proximity. Proximity means nearness to the large water bodies. Clear? So, climatic regions depend on these things. Now, regarding tropical wet. Tropical wet means equatorial climate region or equatorial Climatic region which is located 10 degree north to 10 degree south. As you have learnt before also regarding this equatorial region. Its temperature, weather and climate and you know how is it. This region is found around the equator. This is seasonless climatic zone. And no variation in temperatures throughout the year. So the region remains very hot and humid. Isn't it? The region is receiving daily precipitation. So average is 80 inches of annual rainfall. And Central and South America, Africa... South and Southeast Asia 
and Indonesia have such climatic conditions. Now you will learn regarding desert. This topic also you have learnt in the last classes, isn't it? So desert climate, you know all, desert climate is very hot and this is dry climatic zone with a less than 10 inches of average rainfall annually. So, no humidity in the air and having a great variation between day and night temperature. During the day, desert temperatures rise to an average of 38 degrees centigrade. And at night, these temperatures fall to an average of 3.9 degrees centigrade. Because of sunlight the temperature registers extreme high but due to lack of moisture it dips down rapidly at night so at the daytime the temperatures register extreme high but due to lack of moisture it dips down rapidly at night and makes the region a freezing experience Few examples of this zone are Sahara Kalahari Desert in Africa, Arabian Desert in Middle East, Thor Desert in India and the other deserts you have learnt in the last chapter that a uh, lot many deserts are there. So the weather and climate of that zone is like this. Okay. So today up to this, I'm ending my class here. Have a nice day. Learn your chapter. Learn the difficult spellings. Okay. Now, I'm ending my class here. Om Namah Shivaya.